What's up, pups? How you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. So my brother was in town over the holidays in December with his wife. He's 22, she's 18. Exponentially much younger than I am. I'll be 27 in May, which is almost 30, so basically I'm dead. So I knew while he was visiting that our ideas of hanging out were gonna be very different. The day after Christmas, we decided to watch Harry Potter all day because his wife hadn't seen the last one. When they went to leave, they mentioned they were going to a hookah bar and then to a bonfire. I asked them what time they were planning on going, since it was already pretty late. 8 <coughs> p.m. <clears throat> Sorry. And they responded probably sometime after midnight. I laughed. They stared. It was weird. This led to me facing chastisement at the mercy of younger people. You're so lame, they said, but I chuckled in my elderly state. I explained that I've been to every party that there is to be at already, and every party is always the same. One of the most important life lessons that I've learned is that you get to pick how satisfied you are with the level of fun that you've experienced. And once you've reached the said quota of fun, as you get older, you don't necessarily feel like you have to be seeking out fun times because your cup of fun is already full. You also learn that if you're not having fun in a given situation, you can just stop being in that situation and you don't have to desperately try to turn it into this fun thing. If it's not fun, just stop. So it follows that naturally your life starts getting better as you stop seeking out fun all the time. Especially because moderation is definitely the spice of life and going out and partying all the time can be just as monotonous as a sober life. So without further ado, here are eight reasons why not going out all the time can really be awesome. Number one, you save money. I think the most immediate and noticeable benefit of not going out all the time is that you save money, a lot of money. You can still have awesome food and beer and wine and drinks in the comfort of your own home and not have to spend like $10 for a single shot in a cup mixed with soda. Not going out also means not getting drunk at a bar, buying a round of drinks for people you don't know, wasting more money than you thought you would, and having to take a cab ride home, which also costs money because you can't drive drunk. Number two, you don't get hangovers as much. For every action we understand, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So for every drink that you have, you'll pay for it the next day, not just in money. I can tell you guys that when I was in college, I worked at a restaurant. That was my form of income to pay for college as well as my normal bills. Pretty much my days consisted of this. I would wake up every day at noon. <clears throat> I would schedule my classes so that I had one or two a day. So if I got to school at one, I'd usually be leaving by four or five just in time to make it to my six o'clock closing shift at the restaurant. So I would go to the restaurant, wait on tables, leave there at about midnight, drive to another restaurant down the street, which was open late, have drinks with everyone that I worked with and get home about 2 or 3 in the morning. Go to sleep, wake up, do it all again the next day. Most of the time, I wasn't waking up because I was tired and felt like crap. Also, looking back on it, I realized how much money I wasted at these bars that I would go to nightly and it really upsets me because I probably could have bought a house with as much money as I was spending. There's nothing more depressing than laying in bed and feeling like crap and realizing that you're just gonna do the same thing over and over and over. So needless to say, I'm pretty content with not waking up in the morning and feeling like crap. Three, you have more time to have proper interests. Getting really drunk and making small talk with semi-close friends in a super loud bar with thumping music is not a legitimate interest. When you're not going out all the time, you free up this super precious time to start doing things that are much more productive for you as a person as well as society. Mine are crafting and painting and video making, which make me feel so much more awesome than tequila shots and pizza at 4 a.m. Number four, you get to sleep more. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Not going out equals more time to sleep and it's better sleep. Going to bed at midnight rather than 4 a.m. means that you're getting a higher quality of sleep and you feel more refreshed. And let's just be honest for a second, sleep is so much more fun than anything that could possibly happen on a drunken night at a bar. And that might just be something that you realize as you get older, but I would pick sleep over many things. Number five, you'll find much better people in your life. When you go out a lot, you accumulate what I like to call party pals. Those are people who are there for drinks and good times, but they kind of disappear like vampires during the daylight hours, and they really aren't available for any sort of life crisis that you may encounter, and they kind of just go away and then come back when it's time to party. Those types of people are not real friends. When you establish friendships while doing real things, like 
getting coffee or hanging out in a living room and just chatting and watching TV and maybe going shopping together, you'll find that those people are much better to have around you. Not just for your health, but for your sanity. Number six, there's much less pressure on you. I remember feeling so pressured if there was ever a night that I didn't want to go out. Like, it's like, suddenly, it was like the world was ending. Kaylee, why don't you want to go out? What's wrong? Why aren't you going out tonight? Why are you going out? You start to feel weird, because if you go out so often and there's ever a night that you're just like, I really don't want to go out, you feel pressured to go out even when you don't want to go out. But when you don't go out a lot, you don't really ever feel pressured. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time that I went out on a Friday or Saturday night um, because most of my Friday or Saturday nights consist of either going to the gym, staying at home watching TV, or maybe hanging out at Christine's house or her coming over to my house or one of my other friends coming over and just watching Netflix because I can't think of anything that I'd rather do. Sitting on my own couch drinking a glass of wine is so much more enjoyable than sitting at a bar on a hard chair, surrounded by people I don't know drinking wine that I'm paying for by the glass, which probably costs what one bottle costs, but I'm paying for it in a glass. <sighs> Number seven, you can indulge your moods. You can do what you feel like doing. Are you tired? Take a nap. Are you for some reason really upset about nothing? Stay home. When you go out all the time, you just have to put on this happy face and be this person in front of others all the time. But if you stay home more frequently, you can be who you want and feel what you want when you want to feel it and not feel bad about it. And finally, number eight. Is that eight? That's eight. You can just relax. The best thing about not going out is just feeling like you could just relax all the time. You're never worrying about where the next big party is. You're never wondering what everyone's doing on a Friday night. You just feel perfectly content with sitting at home on your couch, in your sweatpants, eating ice cream, watching TV, painting, doing whatever you want to do because it's what you want to be doing. I don't go out every single night to get drinks like I used to. I don't stay up till four in the morning anymore playing World of Warcraft only to go to bed, wake up, go to college, go to work, go to a bar, come home, do it all over again the next day. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I realize that I'm getting old and I'm not too upset about it. You may right now think that I'm crazy, but one day you'll be in my shoes. You'll look back on this video and realize that I was right. Because the one lesson to learn from this entire video is that sleep trumps all. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I will see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trouts.